Hey guys, it's Sakar, and we're going to be starting up a new series on this channel where we're doing a top 5 ESO PvP fights of the week. I know it's nothing new for ESO YouTube in general. I know that other people have hosted in the past, like Christopher, Lefty Lucy, Cody, all of them have done it, but nobody, none of them are doing it right now. So I kind of want to take up that mantle and give something back to people who are still PvPing in ESO in 2023. I know it's kind of tough for us right now, but we got to do something for ourselves because, let's be honest, nobody's going to do it for us. So if you guys want to submit any clips to me, the email that I use will be in the description below. It is sakartop 5 at gmail.com. Send me your links. Send me everything between your at name or your gamer tag or your PSN name and your server that you're on. And just submit your clips and I'll be selecting them each week to see which fights get selected for each week of our top five. So guys, I hope that you guys enjoy. If you see anything that we can improve here, because I'm new to all this, let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to positive criticism. So guys, without further ado, let's get on to our first week of top fives. And at the number five spot, we have Edu Corleone on his Dragonite on the PlayStation server. He is honestly demolishing these reds in Imperial City. They are just trying to put so much damage and pressure on them, but he is just so tanky and has so much dot damage that they just can't even compete with this. The person is just taking so much pressure right now. They're panicking, they're running around a little bit, but they are just dying so quickly and they're just going pure defensive. And it was over here just trying to just put so much dot pressure on them over and over. There's a sniper in the back that's getting so much free damage on them. And Edu ends up switching targets to try and focus him real quick. Tries to get the rending on him. It, it hits the wrong target, but ends up securing that kill regardless, which is definitely the most necessary part of this. He needed to take out that person. They were doing so much free damage. Takes out a second sniper right here almost. I think he's about to get this secured kill. That person does not really seem to know how to heal themselves. That is truly unfortunate. The second kill is about to happen. It's beautiful to see. Uh, first sniper that got rezzed is about to be taken out again. Beautiful. Both the snipers are down, and it's just two people, one tank, and the other person that was taking a lot of pressure at the beginning of the fight. Edu ends up hard focusing the tank real quick, just dotting them up, putting so much pressure on them. It is unbelievable the amount of dot pressure that he has on this build. He is so tanky and does so much dot damage that they just can't even compete. This person can't even heal themselves. The other person is just taking so much damage by default. They are just, they don't even realize what's going on right there and they get punished for it. And now it is a 1v1 with a tank. I don't think they are going to put any kind of damage or pressure on Eddie right now. He has just absolutely been in control of this fight the entire time. And you love to see that. The other Necro is just trying to block, trying to run away, trying to tank it, but it is unsuccessful. Edu successfully gets this 1vx off. And at the number 4 spot, we have Ogreave on the PCNA server, showing these yellows who's boss on his Magicka Stamplar. You guys love this hybrid meta that we're at nowadays. He already secures one kill out in the open, but there are a lot more people showing up, so he ends up taking refuge in the tower. He's taking a lot of pressure right here, so he's just cycling through all of his heals right now, making sure all of his buffs are back up. That's a lot of pressure to take from multiple people. I think he sees that there are only two yellows now that he's again, so now's a good time to go offensive. Hits him with the Crescent combo, a bunch of jabs. The Nightblade tries roll dodging a bunch, but they get hit by the beam, and you can't roll dodge beam, folks. You'll love to see it. The Sork unsuccessfully gets their Meteor combo off and doesn't know how to jump, so they fell to first floor, leaving this in a 1v1 situation right now, and Grieve hits another beam off to another Nightblade that is just trying to roll dodge spam. You absolutely hate to see it, folks. You just can't roll dodge beam. Some people just don't understand that yet. It has only been eight years into this game. It's unfortunate. So he's trying to kite these enemies real quick. There's a lot of damage coming up. The Nightblade that just tried to roll dodge beam last time sends him some hate whispers about Jesus being needing nerf. Um, No, you just need to not roll dodge that bud and just block forehead. You just hate to see it. Anyways, the 1v1 real quick that he tries to catch out hits him with a combo, but unsuccessful, which is fine because Crescent is a very cheap ultimate. You're allowed to waste that. You'll get it back in two seconds. It is a very cheap one. Do not worry about it. But ends up finding the 1v2 in the back here and sees the third person show up and elects that that is going to be too much damage to base tank so ends up crescenting the entire stack right there can he secure this 
and he secures the kill in the middle of the group. You hate to see that. He ends up finding the 1v2 real quick. I think the one warden right here is the person that he killed right at the beginning of the fight. So he knows that he can secure this kill again. He's done it once. He'll do it again real quick. He's just healing through all the damage. The Sork is just free casting right now. So that is just so much damage that he just needs to keep that in mind. Could have gone for the execute, but elects to heal himself instead, which I think is a better call for the long run of the fight. Uh, it, you can get a really selfish by trying to get that kill and it will be punished for you and you will be really just unfortunate on getting that secured kill but he gets that kill on the warden and it is down to a 1v1 and honestly you guys know why this clip is still going you guys can see what's about to happen jab jab jabs beam 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 the <laughs> the sork is absolutely panicking real quick the shield alt is not going to help him that's it and at the number three spot, we have Exotic K on his Nightblade on the Xbox server, just going to town on these yellows right here. They are just not knowing what's hitting them right now. This person's taking so much damage, and the first kill of the fight is secured. These yellows are not happy. Ends up kiting a little bit, gets away from that entire group that just ran up on him. The friend that he's with is taking a, the most of the pressure right now. So he decides to take out the two that are not following him right now. He got one of the two kills, but his friend paid the price for it, which is unfortunate, but that happens. Somebody else dies in two seconds, so that is another secured kill right there. I think that's three so far, if I count it correctly. The next fight, they're just trying to get all the reses off right here. He blocks both of the reses, which is so clutch. You need to do that in order to really be in control of the fight. One person is really not paying attention to going for the reses, so leaves this person wide open the 23k bow is so much unbelievable damage and that person gets punished for it 1v4 real quick ends up getting this one secured kill right here 1v3 you'll love to see it tries to aim cap him but he's taking a lot of damage right there and is very lucky that they're not paying attention ends up trying to go for this kill right here and ends up two shotting that person and everybody is punished for not going for the kill instead of resing and at the number two spot, we have Simperial on his Stamplar on the PCNA server, making a light work of these reds. The first person tries to roll dodge off the edge, trying to escape the fight, but they get the beam of dreams, which is truly unfortunate for those roll dodgers and for those people that just roll off of towers. The second Nightblade, same thing in store for you. You'd think you'd learn, but nope, it doesn't happen. The third red shows up and sees exactly what's going on and says, mm, no thanks, I'm out of this fight. Get me out of here. <laughs> and tries to bring more reds into the fight. A lot more reds are starting to show up. So as Imperial goes back into the tower, tries to get that line of sight out. Can't really be caught out fighting too many people in the open at, at once. So this Stamsark is really by himself right now, taking so much pressure, not electing to heal themselves, which is a very bold move. And that gets them killed in the end. Uh, Imperial hits himself with the resto wall to really secure his health back up to full and is just jabbing away at these other people. The first person already died right there and they died a second time and you love to see it. 0 for 2 on Zergings Imperial. It ain't gonna work. That is truly unfortunate. I know I said that before, but I will say it again. He's keeping his cal traps out at all times to keep major breach on all of his enemies. That way he is making sure that when he does go offensive, he is hitting like a truck. And putting any kind of damage on them is also very important when they are zerging you down. That way you can kind of get some reprieve and some kind of window of opening just like this. He's just jabbing away at the air. The Nightblade's not really healing themselves and he can see that the Nightblade's starting to panic and gets punished for it. You just don't like that but I love it. It makes for good clips. It makes for good content. That's how we make these top five videos. And he just goes offensive on this other person here, hits his SNC, so he gets his health back, he gets some stand back, and he gets so much resources. He also gets so much damage from that. It is such an easy pool just to get more resources and damage. Another person tries to go offensive here. He, is, he can secure two kills right there, secures one. Can he secure the next one? I think he's trying to beam right there, but couldn't get it off right there. That is unfortunate. He ends up finding another person by themselves, lays the caltrops down on the fight, but sees that two more people show up. So it's a 1v3. He has to be mindful about his positioning here, or he could really be caught out very easily. The other person tries to run away from the fight, which honestly, you should have stuck with your buds. Another secured kill for Simperial. Another person is by themselves again. You just don't want to be caught out like that. And they're just getting absolutely punished for it. But I think the real 
champion of this entire fight is the person that's just blocking by the mage guard right here they said you know what no thanks i'm not gonna fight you i'm gonna run away and honestly that is the true champion and that is a true spirit of cyrodiil in 2023 he goes offensive on this nightblade just jabbing away taking away so much of his health and another secured kill there's just so many and the same player comes back and tries to fight him but roll dodges off the edge instead and to top it all off he gets a raid from hammer tf which is the real victory all along and at the number one spot we have hulk aries on the pcna server just demolishing these yellows in this tower secures one kill off of the rip and is making play break do overtime work with the two three combo the fourth one right there gets absolutely demolished and is just denying the reses on the outside to make sure that he is in control of this fight. He gets pulled in by the Dark Virgins, but runs out immediately to make sure he's not taking way too much damage. He's the resing on the inside of the tower, but elects to go for the kill on the person that's by themselves on the outside, which I think is a smart move for sure. They almost have another corrosive up, and it is so easy to just make so much ultimate off of this build. Damn, they are just getting demolished right now. Hits the corrosive and just is going to town on them right now. S secures one kill, secures two. How many is this? I'm losing count right now. He already has another corrosive up and is just deleting them one by one by one by one. Look at the stack of bodies right there. It is beautiful. So beautiful. Ends up trying to get another secured kill right here. The person just ends up getting deleted. Look at this, they're just getting deleted. There's one person that's trying to run away, sees that he's a little tanky, and goes for the secured kill on the other person. There's one person left, oh, two people real quick, sorry about that. Ends up securing the one kill in two seconds, and the last one, you already know how this is about to go. And that is our first, and that is our first top five of the week. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I was so nervous and excited putting this together. It was crazy. I've never done anything like this. So I really thank you guys so much to everybody who submitted for week one. Please, everybody, try and get those clips. Submit for week two, three, and all of them coming forward. I hope that you guys enjoy. Uh, please share this video with all of your friends. Seeing this really get the traction would be nice. And I would really love to just give something back to the ESO PvP community as a whole, not just the PCNA server. I want to just be able to reach across the entire PvP scene of all platforms. So if you guys could help me out, I would love to see all of your clips, no matter what server you're on. Show me your best PvP clips. Send them to me at my email at sakartop 5 at gmail.com. Link will be in the description. Guys, thank you so much for being here. And I will see you guys on the next video. Later.